picked this up a few weeks ago at the scrap yard and I'm gonna see if it works. It's very stiff to turn. A lot of junk on it. AC motor, model number 31052. When ordering parts, give model number, type 5A, frame 1135, form DA, volts 110, amp 1.7, phase 1, horsepower 120th, cycles 60, speed 1725, General Electric logo, temp rise 40C open, time rating continuous. General Electric Company, United States, NP19791-65 And that's that. Okay, so this, that oiler is a bit sticky. That oiler is better. Oh, that's directly into the brushes. You know, I might have some just like this. It's not actually that bad. This top brush is worn down a lot more than the bottom brush. Those aren't looking the greatest. I could definitely use some cleaning up. What's that? Here's a bit of a cobweb or something. Yeah, just some bugs in there. Nice. Might not be so hard. Oh, whoops. Ah, that might be where the friction is. Definitely. Finally. Those are just splinters of wood. They break off very easily, and so I was thinking perhaps they were something like a fire glass or whatever, but no, those are wood. Weird. A lot of information on the insides. You know what? That felt pad actually looks really good. But this side was the one that had almost no friction, so. But then this side. It's a bit messier. I 
And then we have this. I think I'm probably going to ruin this little oiler if I try to remove it. Hmm. Yeah, I popped it off. Maybe I shouldn't bother with that. Put a fit back on. It's held on by the tension of the spring. It's very odd. in really good condition for being in the junkyard for years. It is very dry though. Let's try the other one. Oh, yes! Awesome! Great. Hey, that one doesn't look too bad either. Maybe just wash it up a little bit. Looks like it was running without, without lubricant. That's fine. So, now that I have those out, I just go and pressure wash it. I, I didn't want these to get soaked if I couldn't get them out, you know. Well, those are drying out. Let's get the can the, uh, the, the bearing or the bushing face and the contacts in this. So, two little washers. Thin one goes on the long section. Thick one goes on the short section. We'll remember that. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. That's like perfect. I'm going to step it down a little bit because I don't want to have my fingers that close to it whenever it's going at speed. Wait a minute. This is actually bent. It must have been hit really hard. God. 
the outer ring is bent relative to the inner ring. No wonder that whole uh, brush was all messed up. Oh, it's actually working. Look how it's gold. Some pretty bad scoring. I'm not going to get down through that. But where I've gotten to is pretty far, and I'm happy with that. Good to me. Ah, oh, look at that. So these parts still have a very thin film of gunk on them. And this crud can be chipped off with a nail. But sometimes it does damage the layer underneath. I think it's called Japanning, I'm not sure. But either way it's not like it's a enamel paint type stuff. I'm fine with a little bit of dirt. I just wanted to get most of the um, most of the dirt off, especially on the inside. I didn't want to pressure wash this because that looks a little bit too delicate. So here's the little oil sponges. And that's where the, the pad sticks to the bushing. And that was on the particularly bad one. It's really tough and uh, difficult to turn. You know, there's actually not that many parts. I like this. I got some sewing machine oil. At least I think it's sewing machine oil. It's mystery oil. It's really a question of do I want the lighter mystery oil or the other mystery oil, which is probably just engine oil. Oh, yes. So much better. like brand new. This makes me happy. Very, very happy. Ooh, that's soaking it up good. Yeah, this thing has not had oil in decades, just judging by how this is soaking it all up. It's like it's brand new. Okay, maybe I put too much, but whatever. It's 
haven't I, I, I I'm pretty sure that this thing I'm pretty sure this thing would be pretty happy having too much if it's had almost nothing in its entire life I think you can deal with it Okay, now we gotta hook that up. Just see if it even works. buzzing. That is annoying. But it was like five dollars. <laughs> who cares? It was fun just to learn how to take it apart. Because I have a bunch of other motors to go through. The connection mechanism is very odd. And I'm wondering, I might be doing this wrong. But it's very easy to take apart. It's a little motor, so I'm happy. See, it's weird. They don't really give any room for it to connect. It's very, very odd. Oh well. Well, this is gonna go in my little collection of vintage motors. Because I, I do I do enjoy these motors. They are really cool. Most of them work, so I have plenty of motors for if I ever need one. But, I'm going to do a little project for the future. If I ever want to learn how to rewire a, um, a rotor, or whatever it's called, and you can see about doing that, if that is the issue. Oh, I could make a permanent magnet DC generator out of this. Oh, that's a cool idea. Because if I'm going to have to rewire it, then I might as well re rewire it to be a little generator thing or an AC, whatever. And add a little magnets, neodymium magnets, and oh, that'd be, oh, think of it, it'd be so cool. But before I go destroying it, turn, turn, trying to turn it into a little generator, let me know if there's anything that I'm doing wrong or anything I should, I should test. And I think it'd be good to put this on the shelf and just because it looks cool. And then maybe tackle it again later. I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick little video. And thank you very much for watching. See ya.